Hi, my name is Ricky Atta. I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Land and Food Systems here at the University of British Columbia Point Grey Campus, home to one of the top food science programs in the world with a focus on food safety and quality as well as food nutrition and health. So welcome again to the University of British Columbia here at the Point Grey Campus. My research work is focusing on food safety. So for both uh, food microbiological safety and the food chemical safety. In addition, we do a lot of uh, research work in the area of food authenticity. We use a lot of different type of the technology, including the molecular characterization, uh, whole genome sequencing, as well as design a lot of different type of the chips and the portable device for rapid detection. So I'm currently developing some very rapid and sensitive detection method for antimicrobial resistant pathogens, such as microfluidic lab on chip and vibrational spectroscopy. I was trained as a food microbiologist. Currently, my research focuses on using systems biology approaches to understand the microorganisms that are posing the major threats to our food safety and security. The pathogens we are most interested in are the ones that are on the top of the list regarding the pathogens that are causing foodborne illnesses and outbreaks across the world. Um, so my research looks at using comparative genomics as a tool to better understand uh, bacteriophages, which are bacterial uh, viral predators, um, and how we can um, use what we've learned um, to develop something um, to be used in food production. Okay, so for the first half of my PhD, I worked mostly with something called molecular dynamics, and this is basically doing computer simulations. Um, quite a, about a decade ago, my lab crystallized a potato defense protein, and now I was simulating it with different types of membranes to sort of understand better why exactly it's an antimicrobial peptide. So now that this is done, I've actually ordered uh, mutants for the peptides, and I'm going to be expressing them and then characterizing them to sort of validate my simulations. Uh, I'm working on uh, novel uh, processing technologies like high pressure processing, pulse UV light, uh, reciprocating agitation tumor processing, novel ultrasound assisted processes by which we can increase the quality of processed food uh, without compromising on its safety. So I have a lot of interest in the nutritional quality of food and uh, closely connected to that is the food chemistry and so uh, we have a tendency to think about nutrients, but there are a number of other non-nutrients that have bioactive properties that we're also very much interested in. And they work hand in hand with nutrients to provide a sustainable, uh, highly nutritional, uh, healthy food system. So um, in my lab, we're interested in looking at yeast populations associated with the vineyards of the Okanagan Valley. Uh, and how we do this is we go and select grapes um, that are growing in the vineyards just prior to harvest and we bring them back to the lab and carry out what's called spontaneous fermentation and then we isolate uh, yeast from these fermentations at a certain stage in the process and we look at what types of yeast we have in there. So. Um... Currently, if you go to most industries, there is a tendency to uh, take a trial and error style approach to formulating uh, new products and developing processes. And this essentially means that you have to just try everything you can think of in a whole bunch of different combinations until you figure out something that works. So in my lab, we're trying to shift from this trial and error based formulation approach to a physics based formulation approach in which we understand the physics of the underlying system and then use that to guide our product development and uh, really accelerate the process. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll consider applying to the University of British Columbia's graduate program in food science.